Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Diaries of Death Hardcore World of Warcraft series with a Frost Mage. Saiken plays is level 26. Uh, off screen I made it all the way to Ashenwale. Gotta be a little bit careful in this area as it is a contested uh, one. Additionally, uh, I mentioned I don't want a lot of add-ons, but I thought for your pleasure uh, I installed... Oh, look at that. Uh, I'm starting the recording and we already got the first uh, person killed. Um, anyways, I installed a DPS uh, add-on and a thread add-on. So uh, really both of it is uh, just for the optics of you guys. I... Uh, still elsewise want to play with uh, out many add-ons and we're going to start uh, with warsong supplies logging a rope uh, here as well as potentially shidumbra uh, and uh, the befouled elementals as well as uh, tidrus and uh, stone tail and standstill so quite a few quests uh, that we're going to do right off the bat there is a horde, uh, a alliance camp up here, which we will not go near because uh, that's going to be dangerous. We also got new spells. We finally got uh, our Frostbolt rank 5, as well as Cone of Cold, which is going to be huge for us. And uh, that should keep us a little bit more safe. Oh, and again, for viewer pleasure, I installed a different uh, scrolling combat text uh, just so that it is easier to follow uh, what is going on. So, with that being said, let's fast forward and get to here to get the stone tail and standstill going. All right, so we made it all the way to the stone tail and uh, standstill. Uh, these mobs are actually not too bad to grind for cooking ingredients. If we would have a quest on top of it, that would even be better. But we need to get all the way through here. So I'll just kill a couple of them and fast forward. Good. We find ourselves finally at the water elemental camp. Uh, it took a while. Uh, I just grinded through the wolves. What can I say? Uh, wolf meat good for leveling. Uh, for leveling uh, the cooking skill and I want the cooking skill for the passive well-fed buffs So got a couple of befouled water elementals Only thing that we need to look out for Is that they indeed are immune to frost so gotta fix that before we're starting fighting them I don't like that. But what can you do? Um, yeah, I think... I think we're just uh, gonna... We're just gonna go with a wand and a, a little bit of uh, magic missiles here. All right, uh, let's see. They are immune to frost magic, which for us is a bit of a problem. That means we can also can't slow them necessarily. Uh, and I haven't uh, bought the upgraded fireball either. Ah, gosh, this is turning into a bit of a disaster. Uh, but... Let's try it nonetheless, shall we? All right, uh, let's go. They do have Frost Nova, oh, that makes it even worse, and we can't really slow them. Oh, this is going to be so much fun to grind them. How many of them do we need to kill? 
12th. Oh, Lord. Uh, gotta hate it. All right. I will do that painful exercise off screen. I don't want to embarrass you with uh, fire spells that are just not hitting. Uh, that is really, really tough. All right. So I found a better groove and I just want to showcase it for even uh, leveled uh, mobs. Although it's not perfect, it's still okay. And given that these guys are dueling, uh, dealing frost damage, the frost shield at least prevents uh, the uh, damage from the Nova and helps us with their foul chill ability. Underwater, they can be quite uh, threatening. And for me, the only major problem is uh, that I am deep frost spec, so it's just as much fun to do this here as it is for a fire mage to uh, get the fire elementals down in stone uh, talon uh, the short version of it it's not fun all right fast forwarding all right we've made it to the middle of the island super careful here as this is the questing hub for uh, alliance and the moment that you're triggering one of uh, these guys you're essentially uh, pvp flagged and i don't need to tell you what that means in terms of higher level characters coming in and griefing you uh, short version is it's not good there's a real risk of losing your character there There's a boss elemental on this island, uh, one that we can get soon, but we want to single pull, not get overly cocky here. Specifically since these guys aren't necessarily well crowd controllable for us, neither sheep nor our Nova uh, work as well. Only thing that works is pure damage, or kind of moving away, really. And even that fleeing through water. Good. In terms of uh, side quests, by the way, there are operational manuals uh, where you get kind of different pages. It's a fun little distraction. If you can find 12 pages, uh, you get a pretty sizable reward. I know that Tiderius, uh, the elemental, was up here, so it's just a matter of getting uh, him. Good. I think he might be back there. Let me fast forward and see if I can find him. Good, apparently I must have misremembered. Like I said there, I think there was a name here. But apparently that's not the case. There is, it says there is uh, still the Befouled Element uh, quest, but that might be the follow-up quest. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, 
So next up on our list, we're going to go to Usurgus Paw, which is right in front of us. And thankfully, uh, thankfully, we're pretty much done with uh, pretending to be a fire mage. You can see, by the way, this is a huge area where people are dying. So not a great spot to quest uh, to begin with. All right, um, we are looking for Sangaris Paw, which I think was uh, a uh, rare bear. That roams the area here. I will be honest, I don't mind killing a couple of bears for their meat either. Let's just clear the area. I'll fast forward that please. Okay, small update. Still went back because uh, the bears are all dead. And in the meantime, I want to do something. And there is Tydris. Uh, he is uh, the named, a little bit stronger version. And if I remember correctly, this guy had a drop quest when killing him. So not only does he yield more XP than the others, he should also yield substantially... substantially more uh, experience due to the quest. Yeah, there we go. There's the globe I was hoping for. Fantastic. Problem solved. So, now all we need to do is to do the same with Ursangus, uh, who is a bear, the named bear in this uh, region. It shouldn't be a big uh, problem. I just need to keep uh, grinding the bears and eventually uh, that guy will pop up. And... yeah. Got a lot of war supplies. I don't know if I like that quest. Gotta play it very carefully because all of uh, those areas, this year's alliance, this year's alliance, I don't want to get flagged and just accidentally uh, be killed by an NPC or by a player uh, that uses my PvP flag. That would be a very sad ending for a character in the Diaries of Death. Uh, currently, we're not strong enough to just randomly uh, kill people. Uh, just showcasing how our frost rotation uh, generally would work, just to uh, show just how strong with the new frost bolt we've become. Bears have a lot of hit points, so getting them down even before they can reach you is uh, quite a feat from uh, from a damage perspective. So not too bad. All right, fast forwarding. Good, after a little bit of searching, we found uh, the name De Bear equivalent of our uh, water elemental. After you kill just enough bears, uh, your surrogates will spawn, and they also do have a quest item, very similar to what we've just seen. There's the paw. Good. We're not going to be stupid and are running straight into uh, an alliance outpost here, so that's the point where you gotta be a bit smart. So let me drink up. We're going to go kind of all the way around here. I still want to go to uh, the outpost over there. 
maybe get a bit of the war song supplies. I'm not sure if I like that idea. Not sure if I like that idea. But yeah, we are going to the coastline because I want uh, the flight path. All right, moving on. Uh, I'll just sneak my way through here. And of course, there are stupid wandering protectors. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't want to run into those. They are alliance flecked on top of it. So that's a, that would be a sure uh, way of dying. Uh, let's try the northern passage then. I decided to just wait it out and let the wandering protector pass. Let's try that whole thing again. Clear it as much as possible just to not needing to deal with any threats. I think there are two wandering protectors, which kind of tells me the second one it must be up there. I just don't want to run into them. Uh, the aggro range, once you do have red and uh, school enemies, is just incredibly high. And even, even if they aggro and you're disengaging, the mere fact that you have aggroed them and that they, they have swung at you, even if they miss, will already flag you for PvP. And in my perspective, that's pretty much a death uh, sentence. I would not feel comfortable with that. There is very high likelihood that specifically around kind of uh, the respective faction camps that you're going to run into someone who is of high level and who knows fair well that that is happening incredibly regularly and specifically rogues, feral druids uh, will just mince you. Uh, 60 rogue I mean, I have 700 hit points. That's like, what, two strikes? Potentially not much more than that. So we would not stand a chance. Therefore, play careful. All right, moving on. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, we are trying to get uh, the Warlock, uh, the Warlord's rope. And it's important that we're not uh, flagged. As you can see, good old Alliance is uh, right there. So what we're going to do is kill a couple of Fulbergs. And I think we're not going to go for the Freedom for Rule uh, quest. I don't think that that is worth it. We might end up killing so many that we would get all the way there, but it's unlikely. Yeah, we would need to get all the way to uh, there and then free rule. I can see if uh, if we can make it. Let's do a little bit of quest play here. Since I fast forwarded quite a bit, uh, figured might as well just also showcase uh, some uh, gameplay. This is where the Alliance outpost is, so very much important to not run uh, to, through that direction. Counter spell against uh, the healing wave and then the guy is just going down. Very nice overall damage. I like the frost spec a lot so far. I am very happy with uh, what I'm seeing. In the meantime, whenever I'm drinking as a, a little precaution, I'm checking the mobs around. Uh, just double checking that there are no elites uh, that are patrolling the area. That's an easy way of just yeah, being aware of uh, what's happening. Alright, 
I think that's a good position. Fantastic. The reason why I'm playing with these frames, by the way, uh, whenever I played Arena a very, very long time ago, uh, that's a, a place where I always uh, had an easy access to health and mana without needing uh, to kind of go above and beyond to look into a direction that didn't feel normal, so to speak. So I stuck with it and uh, that is a very easy way for me to keep track of my opponent. In Arena, there is even a so-called focus uh, window, which is essentially a second target. Uh, so not only that target, but a second target because it uh, becomes way more important to crowd control a target and attack another uh, target. In dungeons, it's, it's specifically in classic, it is not needed because uh, the pace of the game is far, far uh, lower than that. Um, uh, crowd control typically lasts almost 30 seconds, so uh, you kind of get a feel for when 30 seconds are due, uh, even when you need to recast. But uh, with PvP, uh, they introduced something called diminishing returns, where essentially the same type of crowd control uh, cannot be uh, applied an unlimited amount of time. Um, so the first time you get, quote unquote, 100% of the intended time, uh, and then you only get 66%, uh, 33%, and then nothing immune for uh, a period of time. Uh, and with that, you needed to really make sure that you were on top of your crowd control game. And the whole uh, getting a focus frame uh, really helped uh, with that. Generally, other than that, I'm trying to keep as much view uh, area as possible. So this here is transparent. This here is almost not transparent enough. Um, but it, it's fine. Um, there, you can still see through it. This here is as uh, transparent as it gets uh, because I want to see everything that's on uh, the on the screen. As for these guys here, relatively straightforward. Casters need to be counter spelled with their main spell specifically if they're trying to heal themselves. And all we need to do is get the rare drop. As you can see, trying to single pull doesn't always work. In case of a dual pull, we're not going to take many risks. We're just crowd controlling. Getting the guy down, still having enough mana. Need to be careful that uh, uh, these guys are social. As social creatures typically have a radius uh, where when one of uh, their kin is getting attacked, they will just leash on top uh, of an already existing leash. So this guy, if he would have uh, walked a little bit uh, closer, then there would have been the risk of him uh, adding to an already existing fight. Ranger type of enemies are amongst my least favorite simply because you cannot really dodge uh, range attacks uh, that well. Uh, you just gotta sit through it. But Frost Armor does a relatively good job. Uh, self buffed, uh, we're looking at like what? Uh, 500 armor, that's okay for a clothy, that's okay. Could be better with more elixirs, but I think it's still fine. Given that we are getting closer to uh, freedom to rule, I'll just self buff uh, with one of my food items. There we go. A few more hit points. Operation page number four. We already got that, so I'll ignore it. Mm. 
there's the rope and uh, with it unfortunately no uh, free in quest i don't think that i would want to go uh, through their entire camp it's cool to do it uh, if it is possible if not then that's fine as well and that's another thing that i learned about questing in uh, hardcore uh, wow uh, you don't need to do all of uh, the quests uh, quest typically is an equivalent of eight to ten mobs that you grind so if a quest is either unreasonably difficult or you just don't feel like it is safe enough uh, there is no harm in skipping it uh, in uh, in the uh, escort quests my personal grudge with escort quests is they take a lot of time and uh, there is a very easy fail condition uh, if whoever you're trying to uh, accompany is running uh, blatantly in, into enemy mobs uh, then you're ending up with getting them killed at no fault of uh, your own or they getting themselves killed at no fault of your own and then you need to kind of restart the quest specifically in relatively speaking dense areas like the one that we're currently uh, fighting in um, the respawns are oftentimes intense and uh, even on my level even with really fast clearing speed you cannot just get all of uh, them down it's not happening and then uh when the quest resets you kind of need to start clearing again so yeah that's why escort quests not my favorite so next up uh we're going to go to uh the outpost here um, and are potentially uh, then going to get the flight point as well as trading in the quest so stay tuned uh, until that is happening okay so we have arrived at uh, the camp let's just do a little quest here which is yet again another escort quest you guessed it but one that is fun so we're going to slay orsha the lasher should be relatively straightforward um and then afterwards we're going to hand in all of our quests here i would love to get involved in black uh, fathom depth uh, which is the next logical dungeon to do before going into rfd or which is razor thing uh, i know uh, rfk razor thing kraal or gnome regan but uh currently no one is really looking for it. That's oh, a bit of a problem if the dungeons aren't completely uh, on your questing way then people are not necessarily going out of their way to do them if you can't rerun them and Black Fathom Depth unfortunately has a bit of a, a reputation for being long and a bit tedious but B also a reputation of yeah causing uh, problems and it is very far away so unless you're really questing in ashen vale not that many people are running it however maybe we're getting uh, lucky so uh, currently we're uh, running with mukulash you can see i've already cleared all of the way because i don't uh, want any trouble here and he will go onto this island to summon the beast There we go, made it over safe and sound, and it's time for the beasts. Got everything nicely lined up. So Mogulash, let's go, uh, brother. Good. Ambush of three. Our biggest problem is again keeping the NPC alive. You can see he is wounded, but not critically so. Interrupting enemies casting. Oh 
All right, Vorsha, come out of your hiding spot. Well, we got Will of the Forsaken, my dude, no sleeping for you. He took aggro off of me, which is okay, but these guys luckily don't hit very hard. Another uh, counter spell. And there is Warsha, the Lasher. So uh, that also means we are getting a level uh, frost channeling for us, a reduction of uh, all mana for frost spells, which is huge, and less threat, which will help us in the dungeon. So for now, that was an interesting quest. We were a little bit over, well, actually at the right level uh, to do it solo safely. Borsha can be a bit of a uh, problem as they hit hard. I haven't really needed to uh, put him to sleep, but uh, uh, put him uh, to freezing, but uh, it worked out. Good job. All around, uh, we're trading in the other uh, quests for now. Uh, let's trade in the Borsha quest in Wurugucci. Three stamina, two spirit, which isn't too bad. Uh, could trade that in for one of our rings, I suppose. Overall, uh, we got minus 10 hit points, but we get quite a bit more stamina, which I think will help us in uh, the long run. And uh, now we're just uh, going to go back over here and in the quests and take it from there all right after handing in the quests we are back at round number two full borgs this time we need to kill quite a few of uh, these bad boys here and maybe even that many that we're going to get all the way uh, to the rescue quest we're level 27 uh, everything that i said about the rescue quests with uh, tightness of the respawns and the timing still holds true but I think there is a chance that we can uh, just get through a lot of these enemies quickly Mana pool is basically enough for four to five uh, of them if we pull them iteratively. So that's not bad. So what do we need to do? We need to slay avengers and shamans. Then up here we need to collect troll charms and then eventually free up rules. So that's going to be our play. In the meantime, I also got a uh, farmed a little bit of uh, food uh, not necessarily farmed it but I still want to level cooking and we got a lot of clam meat as well as crawler meat now which should be good enough to get us over the hump of 100 and then into an, a region where we can get new recipes you always need to make sure that you're not falling too far behind with the meat that you're gathering 
typically store the meat of kind of more or less equal level uh, animals in my bank and then look up where the recipes are unfortunately i figured out that the recipes for everything that we've uh, slain are relatively inaccessible for us at this point yeah so that was a bit of a bummer page 12 we already got that thank you no thank you Alright, uh, let me fast forward that whilst I grind myself into the camp. Just want to sh showcase a couple of highlights. Uh, we got Del Bloodclar here, who is one of their leaders. Won't help him much. As unfortunately he's melee. And very soon running away in fear. So. Yeah, that guy went down. In the meantime, we're clearing very nicely most of uh, the packs. What did he drop? Agility and intellect. Uh, I mean... It's a little bit better, but it would reduce our hit points yet again a bit more. Agility isn't optimal. Alright, after killing two dozens of them, it is now time to go into a cave. Interestingly enough, others are here as well. That doesn't make it more dangerous for us, but uh, rather more chilled. We need to get a couple of charms. Caves are always a territory that I don't like. Very easy to aggro additional enemies. It certainly doesn't help, but uh, they do have healers. So we need to get uh, the troll charms. Uh, these things are in there. All we need to do is free them and we're good. There's another one right there. We got our first chapter of the Shredder Manual done.
put a couple of new potions in. I don't have the space. And since at the beginning of the game you are unfortunately self-found if you have a new account like me. You can't even uh, sell mana potions for reason of price in the auction house. Good, two charms. Good, where are the other uh, charms? We can see one up here, but that'll take us quite a few pulls to get to. Sure, there's one over here. And now I am in combat, that's not good. Let's disengage. Yep, minus combat, that's that's good. It's more like it. Never want to like trigger the entire uh, cavern. Careful with the respawns here. There's another chest. We got manual chapter two. Uh, we're missing page one and th uh, three. I think seven we already got. Yeah, we're missing four more pages. And although that on paper doesn't sound like a lot, it actually is because if one of those pages drop, you have a 1 out of 12 chance to, to do it. And it's getting more and more difficult the more pages you do have. Another totem chest over there. Okay, well, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. You gotta be careful with the respawns, so I could come in very soon. There's even another one over here. Fantastic. And there is another one up there. Okay. Cool. Almost done with the troll, and another one. Almost done with the troll charms. That's really good. See, there are the respawns.
The reason why I'm taking this guy out, for instance, is I don't want potential ads if we're running into respawns. And since we need to fight out of here, you can't just kind of train uh, every single respawn to the entrance because you're likely going to die. Twelve. That's not too bad. We're missing nine and uh, three. Okay, instead of being greedy what i would want to do is make sure that the f uh, that the escort quest that we're going to do in a second is going to work out so as you can see i'm clearing the path already get all of the wanderers this is how you not get killed in a cave. Keep enough resources, make sure that the wanderers, specifically these guys here, are going to go down. And then you can push in further. Because now if I'm uh, needing to get out, there are not four mobs in the way that would all add up and make my life a living hell. Instead, no one is there and we can just run out uh, without having huge issues. All right, freedom to rule. I think that was the escort quest. Might as well do it. We're already pretty far in and we have a hard stone if needed. And we've done most of the other stuff. But caves are still always scary. Gotta be careful with them. Good, here we go. Let's rule Snow Hoof. Easy. So, just need to get the bear out. Just need to get the bear out. Okay, cool. Let's go. In on the back of my mind there is kind of a timer going which says there are respawns going uh, going to be at the end uh, entrance so hurry 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 we 
really don't want to waste any time here. Page 12, I think we already got that, yeah. Page 5. Page 12, we need 9 and 3. Okay, now another trick with escort quests, at least as far as I found it out, is never go too far to the front, but always try to be a little bit ahead of your VIP, so to speak, or bear IP in this case. Never too far, because you don't want the bear uh, to get ambushed and die. A little bit ahead. Because if normal respawns happen, you want to make sure that you can handle that. Fortunately or unfortunately, it is not atypical to have two or three people uh, spawn on those quests. Oh no, water is empty, that's not good. And of course, inventory management shouldn't happen in the middle of a quest. Um, but that's the downside of starting out. You just don't have the inventory space. Good. The respawn has just happened behind us. Let him draw aggro. He can tank one. Two will be stretching it. I still see his health there. Should be fine. Page number three is missing. Good, and this is where it becomes a bit more challenging because all of a sudden we're in the wide open and he can just aggro a lot of enemies. That's why I don't like uh, escort quests. I can tell you though, if uh, for whatever reason we fail this one, I'm not going to go back in. It simply is what it is then. sure there is another ambush of three enemies.
Okay, we're almost through. <sighs> so many more Fulborgs. They are reproducing like crazy. Draw a couple of cooldowns here. Just being safe in case something happens. Drank that health spot wasn't needed, but uh, like I said, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Did we succeed on the quest? I hope we did. Uh, yeah, we indeed succeeded on the quest. Very good. Uh, next up, I think we're going to trade in the quest and end today's episode, but it was a good uh, ending close uh, little fight at uh, the end there and next up uh, I hope I can present you Razor Fing uh, deep but I'm not 100% sure if that is going to fly it's difficult to find a group let's put it this way very good thanks a lot for watching so far we're still live level 27 and we're staying strong I like uh, the feel of the mage really 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 good so far have a good one, see you later, and uh, goodbye.